Macaulay, Honorable Chungwa, Honorable Chungwa, Honorable Chungwa, let me hear from Honorable before I get back to you. And my first thing that you must know that you never caught my eye. In fact, you shouted, before I give another member, in fact, you shouted a point of order and the matter of procedure. We were to allow the Honorable Kimunya move his proposed amendment, be seconded, and then now we can hear your point of order. So at that point, Honorable, Honorable Ichugwa, I, I want to get, I want to hear from one more member because that you, uh, Honorable Emilio Diambo. Okay, no, the Honorable Leader of Minority, you are on a point of order. Thank, thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, I want to say that the dignity of the House. <laughs> Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, allow me to say that the dignity of this House is very important for democracy in this country. And Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, if Honorable Ichungwa, indeed it is true that what he's saying, he had the leader of majority say, the best thing to do was to raise it as a point of order. But you cannot exchange, even the words that he's saying, he uttered to the majority leader are unacceptable. The House has its rules, the standing order, and if you have not been heard, then it has not been heard. If you have been heard like we heard the MP for Kikuyu, then we raise it like Honorable Mwadi has done it, and so the Honorable Member for Kikuyu should do the right thing of apologizing, withdrawing, apologizing, then we proceed. Very well. But the last ma one. Madam Speaker, if you don't do that, then the dignity of this House will be compromised. Let Thank me, you, let, Madam Speaker. Let me, let me get one more that members you had. The Honorable Kajwan. Madam Speaker, as I see it, this is a house of record. Everything that is said on record is on record. But it's a very serious thing for the type of language and the type of explicit that we have had today. The easiest thing, Madam Speaker, in my mind, is to consult the Hansard and find who said this and who said to who. Once we have done that, Madam Speaker, this time, this time we want to name someone. We want to go through the whole procedure of naming someone, whether he is the member for Kikuyu, or whether he is majority leader, or whoever he is, must face the full wrath of this house so that we can maintain the dignity of this house. We don't want jokes. Madam Speaker, very well. consult Thank you. the answer. Very well. As we make a direction, can I have the member for... It's important for me to hear, and please let us not make it as a, as a, as a, as a, as a political... Let me have the member, Honorable Duale, then... Chair, uh, Madam Speaker, uh, I am a member for Garissa, and I have not, but I, Madam Speaker, I think we, as the August House, and I'm sure we are on live TV, and the motion before us is so important, it's about the Budget and Preparation Committee, Madam Chair, because some of us, after Honorable Kimunya moves and second the amendment, we will ask you to rule on serious constitutional issues. So I think it's better we move, we allow Honorable Kimunya to move, uh, and then to second, and then you allow some of us, uh, and then some of us. All the members, all the members, let's, let's hear the Honorable Duale. Yes, Honorable Duale, just a comment, yes. No, yeah, Madam Speaker. Yeah, Madam, Madam Speaker, I think, uh, I think as Honorable TJ said, if you want to name somebody, the procedure is in the standing order. Yeah. We can even do it tomorrow. Even but I think Madam Speaker guide us so that uh, the amendment is carried. We bring some decorum. 
uh, we listen to each other. The budget policy statement is a physical framework of the budget. So let's, 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 let's accommodate each other. And uh, Madam Speaker, if you are here and you came to shout, then you are in the wrong place. You are in the wrong place. Yeah, the last, the thank, you, thank you, Honorable Duali. The last one, the Honorable uh, Junette. Thank you, Madam, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, Mili, Mili, Ngoja. Madam Speaker, I want to seek your indulgence, Madam Speaker, because we need, we need to operate as a house in a form of, in our decorum, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, what Honorable uh, Ishungwa is raising is saying that the majority leader used some unparliamentary words on him, but they are not on record. But his is on record, Madam Speaker. His is on record. His, the, 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 no, let me finish. Let me finish. Madam Speaker, the one for Honorable Ishungwa is on record. Madam Speaker, so Madam Speaker, we cannot, we cannot, Madam Speaker, we cannot transact business in an environment that is unruly, Madam, Madam Chair, Madam Speaker. It is my opinion, Madam Speaker, now that he has refused to oh, apologize and withdraw, Madam Chair, Madam Jeanette. Speaker, I am requesting you, Madam, Madam Speaker, understanding order 108 or 107. He should, 107, he should withdraw from the precinct of Parliament, Madam Speaker. Honorable Ishungo must leave this house, Madam Speaker. That is the only way we are going to transact business here. He must leave forthwith and escorted by none, by three sergeant at arms, by three, not even two, three sergeant at arms must escort him. Madam Speaker, if we are to conduct business going forward, because we want to discuss a very serious uh, matter, Madam Speaker, the budget policy statement. It's a very serious business, Madam Speaker. Very we well. cannot conduct it in an environment that is unruly, like what Ishungu has done today. Very he well. must withdraw from very the well. house. He very must well. go. Ishungu must go. Ishungu must go. And Ishungu must go. Ishungu must, must go. Ishungu must go. Ishungu must go. Yeah, Ishungu must go. Ishungu must go. Honourable members, honourable members, honourable members, now Honourable Ichungwa. Honourable Ichungwa, I direct that, I direct that you withdraw your unparliamentary Or, Honourable Ichungwa, 107, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, sorry, Madam Speaker, I was consulting with the leader of majority, so I, I didn't hear what you are directing. I was seeking to hear what you are saying. I am having been informed by members, and especially the member for Limuru, Honorable Ichungwa, for your unparliamentary language, which I also heard from where I am. Please, Honorable, can you, because we are, can you just with the Honorable door? Speaker, Honorable Speaker, you know, you know, I'm a man who adheres to procedures and directives. And Honorable Speaker, you know, I, I have listened to what TJ has said and what the leader of minority, who happens to be the leader of the majority within the, within the minority has said. Honorable Speaker, why, why I was consulting with the, with the Honorable Kimunya? Yes. If you allow me. All the members, all the members. Protect me from the, the likes of Rosa Buyu who all the is members. shouting. All the members, all the members. Honorable, please withdraw and apologize. Honorable, Honorable Speaker. Then we can be able Honorable to Speaker. Move. Yes. It's good. I am, I am ready, Honorable Speaker, to adhere to what you're asking. But I need, I need clarity on certain things, Honorable Speaker. Yeah? One, one, my mic, my mic, you have not given me the microphone. Therefore, nothing that was said from where I sit that is on answered and on record. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, Honourable. even, even as you seek me to withdraw what was uttered from this space around here, 
Order, order, honorable. Because I did not have the microphone. The honorable Kimunya had the microphone. We can confirm from the Hansard Honorable Chair. We can confirm from the Hansard who said what. Order. Because Honorable Speaker, we honorable cannot. Honorable Ichungwa, Honorable Ichungwa. Honorable Ichungwa. You, I add you, myself. Yes. Honorable Ichungwa, you are even shouting points of order. And. I was giving you the direction that we finish. There, since there was no anything out of order, it's only Honorable Kimunya who was moving. Who was moving his proposed amendment. Then, as a matter of procedure, you could not have risen on a point of order on his proposed amendment. So, Honorable Ichungwa, for us to be able to move, because I had to please withdraw. We do just do the necessary. We withdraw and apologize, and we move on. Because you also have an appointment, yes. Honorable Speaker, why I was seeking your guidance, Honorable Speaker? Because this, this Honorable is Honorable Ichungwa, you are wasting more time. Honorable Speaker. On standing order number 107B. Honorable Speaker. Order members, order, order, order. Honorable Ichungwa, you also have uh, your proposed no, amendment. The, sh the shouting, I can't even hear what you're saying, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Sankok. Honorable Sankok. In fact, I'm going to rule you out of order. I do the yeah, the shouting is too much. <laughs> Honorable Ichungwa, please carry on. Order, order, members. Can we have Honorable Ichungwa have the floor? Honorable Speaker, I was saying even as you seek to direct that I withdraw, Honorable Speaker, we must, we must be, we must, you are obligated, Honorable Speaker, as a person on the seat to make sure that your decisions are guided by what is on record. Not by the shouting by members of parliament, Honorable Speaker. You are obligated, and I wanted to request, Honorable Speaker, even as you seek, I, I can withdraw because you have directed so. And because if you direct and I do not withdraw, you have the right to take any other action. However, Madam Speaker, as you seek to do that, your decisions as a chair cannot be guided by shouting of members. It must be guided by what is on record, on Hansard, but not what is being shouted here, Honorable Speaker. Because I am, I am, I am Honorable someone... Ichungwa, you are Honorable Ichungwa, you are protected. Honorable Ichungwa, please do the necessary. The speaker cannot be guided and will never be guided by noises. Honorable... Yes. Honorable Speaker, Give it Honor, Honorable Speaker, I was I was telling you, Honorable Speaker, if members can listen to me because they are listening if, to you, Honorable Ichungwa. Honorable Speaker, what time. I was saying, I when I was conferring with Honorable Kimunya, as you gave your directive, I was conferring with Honorable Kimunya. Because we, he was, his mic was on. Get the Hansard. Get the Hansard. If you get the Hansard and it is there, I will apologize. Madam Speaker, get the Hansard. If you get the Hansard, I will apologize. Order, Honorable Ichungwa, now, if you don't, Honorable Ichungwa, I've given you the time. Please, for you to withdraw and apologize, I saw you consulting the Honorable Kimunya. If you are not ready to do that, please, I proceed. Give the Honorable Ichungwa the mic. Honorable, Honorable Speaker, for the, for the sake of moving on, for the sake of moving on, Honorable Speaker, and in the absence of the Hansard, and for the sake of this assembly, and for the sake of moving on, not because I am guilty of anything. I I withdraw. Please, Honorable Ichungwa, just keep What, what is purported to have been said? 
I withdraw and apologize. What is purported to have been said? What is purported to have been said? That is not on Hansard, Honorable Speaker, but for the sake of all proceeding. All the members, all the members, all the members, Honorable Ichungwa, you are on record withdrawing and apologizing to Honorable Kimunya. So with that, otherwise you are, you are, you are, I can see you are aware of the standing orders. So Honorable Members, let us have... On, Not as have honorable member that the leader of majority finish moving his amendment. Honorable Jeanette. I can... Honorable Jeanette. Madam Speaker, wait, wait. Madam Speaker, Ishungwa. Listen, listen, Madam. Madam, Madam Speaker, the way, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker. The procedure of apologizing and withdrawing is very well stipulated in standing orders, Madam Speaker. When a member is on the wrong side, he just needs to stand up and say, I withdraw and apologize. But not issue a statement like what the Honorable Kimunya has, what anyway, Honorable Isuku has done. Isuku has issued a statement here, Madam Speaker. Thank you. you, must, you, you this man must withdraw from the chamber, Madam Speaker. You are also now Honorable, Honorable Junetti also talking. Honourable members, Madam it Speaker. is on record that the Honourable Ichungwa has withdrawn and apologised to Honourable Kimunya. Otherwise, if he never did so, we would have followed our own standing orders and did uh, 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 the necessary. So, Honourable members, give time and let us have the Honourable Kimunya finish moving his proposed amendment. And yeah. members, it must be heard. Let us listen to the proposed amendment being moved thank you, by the thank Honorable, you, Honorable Speaker. Kimunya. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I moved. I do hope members will remember what I moved, because that interruption, that interruption was meant to do exactly what it has done, to to sort of, kind of throw things off, and. Uh, and, uh, let us move on, Honorable Kimunya, just move your... Honorable so, Kimunya, Honorable let Speaker, us move the reason for amendment. this amendment is, as members will be aware, the Budget Committee had looked at the debt ceiling and the projections and had recommended that uh, the BPS should be reduced in terms of figures so that the BPS does not the figures in the BPS do not exceed the debt ceiling. Honorable Speaker, uh, we are dealing here with the broader policy statement, not the financial estimates. And those two have a totally different treatment when it comes to impact on the debt ceiling. The issue of... The issue, Honorable Speaker, may be protected from... Some loud you are, you are, you are Members, we are dealing with a very serious matter. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Speaker, the issue here is that this is a transitional budget, which is different from the normal budgets. There will be there will be a new administration coming in in after the next elections and at that point those that new government will need to have the leeway to adjust their budget to accord with their priorities and hence if we were to limit the incoming administration through curtailing on the bps it means we have not only uh, we, we will have given uh, reduced the leg room available for them to even implement their budget by 400 billion. So this issue here of the BPS and its impact, I think has been, there are people who have been going around and saying, if we approve uh, uh, the budget, budget policy statement as it is, we will indirectly be approving an increase in the debt ceiling through the back door. That can never be the, the cost, the, the, the situation, because the two are totally different. Now, the BPS, it's important to know, once we approve this BPS, it's binding on just not this government, 
but on the future government until the next BPS is approved. There is no room for a supplementary BPS. Whereas when it comes to the estimates, we will now be able to look at the estimates and say those estimates, those estimates, those estimates, to what extent do they go beyond the debt ceiling? And at that point, Parliament can now be able to pro uh, pronounce itself because that can be amended later through supplementaries. But there is no supplementary B BPS. And uh, an honorable speaker, the issue here is let's give Treasury what they proposed, remembering that even last year, this same House approved the medium-term expenditure framework for the year 2021-22, 22, 23, 23, 24. And these figures were there. So we cannot then come and then curtail uh, at this point. So, Honorable Speaker, we have also taken into account that this matter is also highlighted within the report. So, M M Madam Speaker, I really don't want to belabor this point. I know there are people who uh, may not uh, appreciate what we are doing. Uh, and, uh, but I'm talking from a point of knowledge. I, I, I understand this matter uh, relatively well, and hence I would allow, I would ask this House to allow that we make this amendment to go through so that we can now debate the BPS as it was. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I beg to move and I would ask the Honorable John Buddy, LCPA John Buddy, uh, to second. Honorable John Buddy for seconding. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I want to be very clear first. It must be observed that I'm a member of the Budget and Appropriations Committee. I want to apologize first that when the committee was considering this matter, uh, because of other commitments, I was not able to be in the committee meetings. But I want to uh, second this amendment by saying the following. I think, members, we need to understand the difference between budget policy statement and the budget estimates. The budget policy statement is purely a statement of intent by the government to carry out certain policy issues and certain programs and projections and indication of how much is likely to go to the counties and how much would remain at the national government level. As to the actuals of financing and the details of borrowings and the details of revenue collections and projections that will be dealt with at the level when we are dealing with budget estimates. So you cannot say at this point, because you have an intention of spending so much that you are already violating the law. No, far from it. The violation will only come when Parliament approves expenditure in excess of what can be financed. Then that becomes a violation. So I think, uh, Madam Speaker, we are splitting airs about nothing. Actually, what I see is grandstanding. I see people trying to play politics with saying that now we cannot go beyond nine trillion. The truth is we are on budget policy. This is a budget policy level. We are not at the level where we are dealing with actual figures and amounts where now we would be saying we have approved. Other members, other members, other members. Order and by members. the way, Madam Please Speaker, out of experience. In law tones, other members. Very well. Because, because I know, everyone. I know some members will come here and start playing politics with this thing. I want to just speak to the people of Kenya that we are at the budget policy stage. And by the way, you cannot just come and say we are cutting the budget with 400 billion you must clearly spell out which budget lines, which programs are you reducing. The entire development budget in the, our estimates is about 370 billion, Madam Speaker. So if you are saying you are reducing budget by 400 billion, which lines are you going to cut? So let us not play populist politics. Let us accept that this is budget policy statement. When we come to budget estimates, Madam Speaker, now we will deal with the actual figures and numbers. And Madam Speaker, my last comment. I don't know why Kenyans have put so much premium on budget ceiling. Budget ceiling is nothing. Parliament should be looking at how much we are borrowing every year. Budget ceiling is an indication. You can even put it at 50 trillion. You don't have to hit the 50 trillion. You can only hit 50 trillion if you have decided as a house 
to borrow so much if you think you have the ability to pay. What has been hitting us and what has failed this country is where we borrow money and we don't use that money for productive purposes. That is where the problem is. Let us not play politics with budget ceiling. Budget ceiling, everybody is talking about budget ceiling, even those who have never known what budget ceiling means. I see people talk about budget ceiling. You have increased budget ceiling. What is the problem with budget ceiling? If you ask me, I would even put it as 15 billion, trillion or 20 trillion. Then deal with actual figures every financial year so that we don't overborrow. Madam Speaker, that is my comment. I want to second and urge that members, we approve this very quickly. We want to move fast and finish with budget policy statement. We go to other more important assignments for this nation. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Very well. All the members, all the members, I propose the question, which is that the motion on the budget policy statement for the year financial year 2022-2023 be amended as proposed by the leader of majority, the Honorable Kimunya. Let, let, let me, all our members, for those who want to be on intervention, please can you remove your cards on intervention because I'm not able to sell who is on intervention. Let me have the, first of all, let me have the, the, the chairperson budget. The chairman budget Thank, thank you, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Uh, Honorable Speaker, the matter came before my committee, the Budget and Appropriations Committee, and uh, and. Uh, under uh, Article 114 of the Constitution, the matter was considered, Honourable Speaker, and I want to confirm to this committee, uh, to this House, Honourable Speaker, we conversed about the issue, we interacted with Treasury, and we passed the amendments from the Leader of Majority. That is the confirmation that I'm giving, Honourable Speaker. Then there is a, let me, uh, there is an, Honourable Members, can you remove your, I can see uh, Honourable Duale shout not shouting, speaking from where? Members, please remove your cards from intervention. I start with Honorable Ichungwa, who was, yes. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Sankok, please remove your card from intervention. Because some members are, are not able to be seen from the intervention. Yes, Honorable, Honorable Ichungwa. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. If, uh... The clerk can guide you from somewhere you don't block the view. Honorable Speaker, I was rising on a point of order. Honorable Ichungwa, you have the floor. Yes, Honorable. I was seeking your attention, Honorable Speaker, because I need your guidance. That's why I sought your attention away from the, the clerk. Honorable Speaker, I was, I was rising on a point of order even before the other issues that came up. And why I had sought your intervention, Honorable Speaker, is because if you read the import of this particular amendment by the Honorable Kimunya, the member for Kipipiri, this amendment is in a very substantive way amending the committee's report on page 25, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, you remember I had sought to see, to ask when the chair of the Budget and Appropriations Committee indicated that he had a report to the issues, the amendments that had gone before the committee. I raised the issue, Procedure Honorable Speaker, as to whether if there is a report on the amendments that had been proposed, there ought to be a report from the Budget and Appropriations Committee so that we may be able to benefit from the, uh, the, the, the engagement of the committee. What has been circulated, Honorable Speaker, you can see on the order paper, this particular amendment was not there. Unlike mine, the Honorable uh, Owen Byers and Honorable Socions that were in the order paper, and Honorable Duales, this particular amendment by the Honorable Kimunya was not there. This amendment, Honorable Speaker, on part one, Honorable Speaker, and if you listen to me, part one, Honorable Speaker, seeks to amend what is being approved as the national government ceiling to 2 trillion and 75 billion. 
An honorable speaker then goes to stipulate what goes to the executive, what goes to the judiciary, the auditor general, and parliament. Honorable speaker, if you look at the figures in the report, it is the national, the executive's budget that is going up, the ceiling that is going up by almost 400 and something billion to 2 trillion shillings, honorable speaker. If you read my amendment as it is on the order paper, honorable speaker, I was also seeking to amend the budget. We will come to your amendment. We will come to your amendment. Why, 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 honorable speaker, don't you allow me to finish what I'm saying so that you're able to make an informed decision? Because I am seeking your guidance because the import, it could be that the import of this particular amendment, speaker, if you listen to me, and honorable speaker, I want to beg that you lend me your ear, listen to me, and make a determination on our speaker. I am not directing you what to do. Honorable the, Chuka, the import what of I'm this saying particular... is that we will still come to your amendment. I will give time for your amendment. Please prosecute. Honorable, honorable, honorable speaker, you know, prosecute, you know, honorable, I, honorable speaker, you know, I am, I am serving my second term, the tail end of my second term. I have been chair of a budget committee. I know the import of this particular amendment, Honorable Speaker, and that's what I sought, so that you guide the House. Because the import of this particular amendment is that then what you're promising me will be possible to do will not be possible. Because I was amending the figures as they are in the report of the committee. Honorable Speaker, if, if then I cannot amend Just carry on. Honorable Speaker, I was telling you, if, if, for instance, Honorable Kimunya's amendment were to pass, it substantially changes what was in the committee's report. And therefore, any amendment that be anchored on the committee's report, Honorable Speaker, then naturally dies. And therefore, Honorable Speaker, the guidance I sought, the guidance then I sought... Okay. Let me finish. Because I have not come to what I wanted to make a determination on, Speaker. I will do it the, very fast. The, the guidance because I sought. Come to you, yes. One. One. One, Honorable Speaker. And I think it's only fair, Honorable Speaker, that you allow me time. Because I am speaking, representing the people of Kikuyu and the people of Kenya. And budget That's matters for me are very dear. Point, Honorable Speaker, my po the two issues I want you to determine are as follows. One. If... If the Honorable Kimunya's amendment were to pass, where does the amendment that I have proposed and that, that the Honorable Duale has proposed on that particular seat? Two, Honorable Speaker. Two, and more importantly, Honorable Speaker, now on a procedural matter, Honorable Speaker, if you are to propose amendments, especially on money, money bill matters, it is procedural that they go through the Budget and Appropriations Committee. The chair has confirmed that that matter has gone through. We have no report from the budget committee. Two, honorable speaker, if you can protect me from the shouting by the leader of majority. He's, a, he's at it again, then you will force me to apologize, honorable speaker. Is this fair? The leader of majority is shouting at me. You order ignore. members, order members, order members, order please. Let us make Let progress. All the members, please, Honorable Ichungwa, you have one or two minutes. In, in one minute, that was, yes, please, in speaker, one minute. that is why I was seeking your protection. Yes, because I was, I was, if, I, if I'm trying to get to you, to you yes. the leader of majority is shouting at me, and someone else is interrupting please, you can there. You, can you Honorable Speaker, let me say this. Yes. If the second thing was on a procedural issue, ideally, Honorable Speaker, every member of this house is given a fair an equal opportunity to propose amendments to any report or any bill that is before this house. If then this amendment is there, Honorable Speaker, and members have not been given the opportunity to propose amendments on the basis of the new figures, then, Honorable Speaker, then it, in my considered view, Honorable Speaker, what we are doing is unprocedural, it is wrong, and Honorable Speaker, it is only fair that if such an amendment that is so substantive in nature is, is, is to be passed, then members must be allowed the opportunity 
to also propose new amendments based on this. Your minute is over, please. I want to make a move that. I beg your guidance. Very well. Very well. Thank you. Very well. I am very fair. All the members know nothing is out of I'm very fair. I am very fair, Honorable Ichungwa. Honorable Ichungwa, you raised the issue of the, 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 the committee. I can confirm that even before the speaker made his ruling, which we were in the House, approving amendments and disapproving other parts of the amendment, including yours, Honorable Ichungwa, the report had already, the report from the Budget Committee which is signed on your, the proposed amendment, and I can confirm it is here signed by the committee. Then, uh, this, then, then the Honorable Speaker Leader made a... Uh, yes, the Speaker made his statement, and it is approved, you can confirm. So with that, Honorable Kanini Kega, you maybe... Honorable Kanini Kega. And Honorable uh, Ndwale, you on point. Uh, let me hear Honorable Ndwale, then I put the yeah, question. Yeah. No, no, no. Honorable no. Ndwale. And then I. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I want you to listen to me. As the substantive chair for this session. And uh, I want to go on the answer, and I want the members of the Budget Committee and the rest of the House to listen to me. Aye, aye. Madam Chair. Honorable Dwale, please Madam prosecute Chair, your, 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 your... Madam Chair, you need to protect me. I want you to are say protected. You are protected. You prosecute your point of order Madam Chair, or your contributions. Or that this House, the Budget, committee, the Budget Committee tabled a report of this House last week. The amendment before this House by the leader of majority, and more specifically, Madam Chair, paragraph B of his amendment, and I want you to listen to me, is basically unlawful and constitutional. And my reason is this, Madam Chair, that amendment is saying, and I want to ask this House, how does the National Assembly, well, that's what that amendment is doing, how does the National Assembly ask the National Treasury to amend the debt ceiling, which is a statutory function, Madam Chair. You can, you can shake your hand, but I'm sure the Speaker is watching me. The Budget Office is looking at me. Madam Chair, this amendment, this amendment of Honorable Kimunya is opening the ceiling of $9 trillion passed by this House by about $200 billion. And I'm telling you, the people of Kenya are listening to me. This House should not open the debt ceiling through the back door, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, this is unconstitutional. This should not be allowed. Section B of this amendment is this House and, this house and the Senate must receive Very well. a regulation. I'm not finished. The debt ceiling is a function, Madam Chair. Uh, Madam Speaker, the debt ceiling, the, the opening of a debt ceiling or the approval is not even a function of this house alone. It's a function of both houses. Madam Speaker, I want you to critically, and you will be remembered, critically look at amendment section B. Section B wants to amend and approve a debt ceiling outside the law, outside the PFM Act. Madam Never. Speaker, and I want to go on record that this is unacceptable and you need to stop it until you give a communication, you or the speaker, substantive no, speaker. They're, they're also I have no, I have not, finally, let, let finally, me, finally, no, no, no. finally, Madam Speaker, yes, Honorable, Madam Speaker, finish? finally, finally, I want to speak to my colleague, the Honorable Major, Minority Leader. I want to speak to him. No, you cannot address okay, him. Okay, I want to address you. You cannot. Uh, I want to address you, you cannot through. address the leader of majority. Ma Madam, Madam, Ch Madam Speaker. Make your contribution Madam Speaker, and please, you have one uh, minute. Ma Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, as a member for Garissa Town, I am entitled and you cannot gag me. Let me go on record. You cannot gag me. What I am raising is a matter of constitutionality. You All cannot members, gag me. Honorable Dwelle is on the floor. I will still give you members and then I think from there we will move a bit Then faster. they better listen to me. 
Madam Chair, I took an oath to protect the Constitution and other legal uh, framework passed by this House. Madam Chair, this amendment section B, and Kenyans will remember me, and I want you to rule on it before even you put the question. Section B, consult with the budget office technical team who are sitting at the, at the at, at next on your left or, or on the right. This is unconstitutional. Very this well. House should not agree. You we cannot point. surpass the ceiling. And I say Very this well. cannot continue. And you cannot you let me. Taken. You let me have, let me. All the members, all the members, I'm sure most of the members were in this house when the uh, speaker made a ruling. Your minutes are over, I can see. No, 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 no let, let me, uh, oh, no, no. no, you were making contribution, no, you were on point of order. Let me have the point of order from. Just give him dwell one minute. He says one minute. Just give him one minute. Then we come to Honorable Jeanette. And Madam Speaker, if you people don't want us to raise issues that we took our, uh, the Quran for, please then, just make your no, point. Then, then stop us at the door of the chamber. But I have come in here. I have asked you for your guidance. This house this evening wants to approve and open the debt ceiling as for more borrowing outside the law Very section well. uh, outside the law constitution article 211 and the pfm act section 50 section 2. this is a house of debate let me let me let me before honorable Jeanette, let me have the honorable leader of minority then Jeanette, please uh, madam madam speaker what honorable duale has raised madam speaker how i wish my friend duale would listen to me as well i actually listened to him Carefully, and uh, Madam Speaker. Honorable, Honorable, I'm listening. Is your point of order? Is it a point of order because you had already contributed, Honorable Leader? It's a point of order, yes. Madam Speaker, I'm actually rising on a point of order. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, the Honorable Duale should not cause, should not be an alarmist. Madam Speaker, Honorable Duale has been leader of majority in this house. We have changed, amended debt ceilings in this house. We have never done it through BPS. You can never amend debt ceiling or change debt ceiling of the Republic of Kenya through budget policy statement. This is budget policy statement and Honorable Duale, no, I know you are, you are playing politics, but that is not how to do politics. Okay, okay, Honorable. Please be factual. Uh, okay. That's okay. Let me the last one. Honorable Junets, give it honorable on a point of order. You have been heard. You have sure. been heard. Order, Madam members. Madam Speaker, order. Madam Speaker, can you protect me? Can you protect me, Madam Speaker? You are protected. You are protected. Madam, Madam, Madam Speaker. Be honorable, honorable leader Madam Speaker, of minority. You what are we are discussing. Yes. Honorable Madam leader Speaker, of minority. Can we what listen we to are Honorable Junets? Shungwa, Shungwa. What we are discussing is the budget policy statement. Madam Speaker, we are not discussing the estimates. We are discussing a statement of intent by the Treasury on how they want to prepare the budget. Madam, Madam Speaker, what Honorable Duale is doing this afternoon is what is called political posturing. He is addressing the gallery. He is not addressing the substantial issues order, order, that we are discussing order, in this order, house. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker we need to understand. We need to understand that the budget policy statement has got nothing to do with the debt ceiling, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, the procedure of increasing the debt ceiling is known. It's, as he said, it's a statutory requirement. So, Madam Speaker, I don't know when Duale lost the, his, his knowledge of running this house after be, losing the, or stopping being the majority leader. Madam Speaker, what we are discussing is the budget policy statement. Order, Put a order, question, order, Madam order. Very well. All the members, all the members. All the members, all the members before I put the question, all the members. We are giving direction. Honorable members.